Welcome to part two of the Harvest Moon Fairy, the dress. A few of the supplies that I got for this dress are some rose petals, a package from the dollar store. Uh, they're, they're pretty lightweight, like organza. And I know there are also those plastic kind of flower ones. I think they're gonna work fine for this dress. It's the Harvest Moon dress. I also got uh, th at the craft store some little rhinestones. Um, here's the package of rose petals. And this time, instead of the fabric leaves, I do still think they're fabric, but they're metallic. And I got some uh, feathers. These are the owl feathers that I'm going to use for this dress, for the corset part of the dress. And it, this was in with them, which is really cute. I'm using this for the bad fairy. It looks like a little broom, but that'll be in October, the next video after this. Got some glue dots, which I've never tried because they were there at the dollar store. And I'll be using some wire, some thicker wire that's easy to bend, and the 22 gauge with some wire clippers. These are the charms this time. They're little dragonflies. So to start, I've cut a piece of tracing paper into three larger rose petal shapes at the end. And then I did three little clips along the top after folding it over a quarter inch. And then I accordion folded up to each little clip. Like this. Just with my thumb, press forward, back, forward, back, forward, back. So decide how wide around you want the dress and then twist or that's what I'm doing, I meant to say, and leave a, an amount to make a hook and cut it off. Okay. So it looks like one of those little fake dog leashes. So if you're using glue dots, you want to have your little page open here, and I actually, you have to undo it because it's easier to put this on when it's straight, and you just put each little loop over and glue it on each side and then it's going to gather be gathered up so you want to push it down like a gathered waistband. Now I'm covering the uh, tracing paper part of the dress or the vellum with uh, the rose petals. So I'm not going to use the glue dots. I'm just going to dip the tip of the petal into some glue and then attach them all around like this. The layers go from the bottom to the top where they'll be at, they'll be overlapping this way like um, that. The first layer is along the bottom and then the next. Okay, so now I'm trying. I'm starting the second layer, and I just go around, uh, covering up where those two, the like two of the ends are. I'm going to have to get a little glue for some of these top layers to sit down a little more. But it's not quite done. There are going to be petals going all the way into the center. Now with a glue dot I'm joining two crossways petals and then I'm going to join two more in the center like this. Then continue, I'm going to continue dipping the petals to go in between, but to the outside where they overlap. Or something like that. I'm putting kind of a big needle, the biggest I have, through 
the layers so that I can put the wire through it. And then I'm going to use a, the clippers to make that hole a little bit bigger. Like that. So I can thread this wire through. So it goes on like that and covers the hole. Now I'm going to put what I call the owl ermine or the preened owl ermine which are the little owl feathers with the little spots on them on a corset that will be on top of the dress. And I have got these at the craft store and they're so adorable, I love them. And um, that will have a little bit of a ruffle so it can be as big or small as you want. These. Uh maple leaves that are the um, metallic will also be around the ruffle that goes over the skirt. So I'm using a sheet of vellum by recollection, by recollections, just the 12 by 12 inch to attach these things. Two, I take two and a half or three inches and I just cut a two squares actually. Two two and a half by two and a half inch squares. And then I'm going to make a little bit of a dart in them so I need to snip them about one inch up and about a quarter inch. made four little folds in the center and glue dotted them in the center and now I'm going to glue dot one of these pleats over the other like that. And then cut the other piece whoops, um, so that it's, you cut the bottom part off or I'm going to and then I'm going to glue dot here, wrap it around and glue dot there. Then sort of cut these, as, or I, I'm cutting these as sort of a teardrop shape or a rounded shape. And it can also be snipped down the middle here. Sort of like a corset. Okay, and that's going to be decorated and then threaded onto here with the decorations on it. So I'm just covering this with the little owl feathers so that it won't be see-through. It will be uh, covered and then these will go along the bottom like this. I'm cutting off the heavier tips of the feathers and you know you, you want to be careful leave some of the feather on because it does kind of fall apart but that way it's not so heavy to stay on there. This is so fun for me because I am an author of a book called The Fairy Ring Dance where I dressed fairies in my mind, but now I, I get to actually, you know, put this stuff together. I glued on the first leaf on the back like a bustle. So I'm using glue dots for this and putting them on the corners and letting the ends stick out. So I don't, I want to leave this to show, so overlap here, that way she has some sort of a waist in that big dress anyway. So now you just thread it through and ta-da, attach it. You can leave them sort of flared out like in that witch movie Hocus Pocus or push them down a little more. Sort of went with half and half, half flared up, half down. Time to decorate with these and then also with the little beads that are dragonflies. So I strung the dragonflies on the wire and I'm going to have them hang down around the dress. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so I tied a ribbon around it and tied around tied it around the waist and my camera's getting blurred. I thought it was my cable that made the blurriness. Anyway, I'm going to arrange them around kind of nicely because right now they're just kind of stuck on there. So here it is. Part three will be the wings. So click on the link in comments below or the cards at the little eye and see the dress as the wings get put on and the whole entire thing hangs from its moon hook. This is the Harvest Moon Ball Fairy Dress. Thank you for watching.